Hello everybody, so today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equation. So now I will show you how to answer. I will put b equals to this one. And q equals to this one. So we have the x. That means we need to do first the derivative of the function with respect to y so we have db over dy first the derivative of y square you got about 2y number 6 with number 2 you got about 12 first the derivative of y to the power of 4 that's about 4y to the power of 3 number 4 with number 4 you got about 16 now we got about dy in here. That means we need to do first the derivative of the function with respect to s. So we have dq over dx. So we do first the derivative of s to the power of 3. You got about 3s where number 3 with number 2, you got about number 6. First the derivative of s, you got about number 4, no, one, uh, we got about number 1. So we have number 4 in here. 4 with number 1, this they still about number 4. And we have y to the power of 3. So if we look carefully, they are not the same one in here. So I will create about interacting factor. And I will choose about mu s. That means inside the interacting factor that should contain about s so we multiply both sides by mu s now i will set up about b equals to this one and q equals to this one So we want dp over dy equals to dq over dx because this one they just contain variable of s. So when we do first the derivative of dy in here, you got about this one only. So that's it about from here we just do in here. Multiply by mu s. Now, this one is about dq over dx. So if we do first the derivative of this one, we will do first the derivative of this one first. And that's it from here. Multiply by mu s. Later that, we do first the derivative of mu s. Multiply by this one in here. We just apply about the product rule of derivative. So we put this one go to the left. So we have number 12 minus 6. We have number 6 negative 16 minus with negative number 4 negative with negative you got about positive so negative 16 plus positive number 4 we have negative number 12 now we need to do about factorization this one we have y uh, we need to go this way. Uh, this one we have s y and s y. We put this one outside, and this one and this one we put y outside. So we have y in here. S y we put outside.
Next, we have number 2, number 4, number 6, number 12. About this one, we put number 6 outside. So we have x square minus 2y square. We put number 2 and number 2 go outside. So you have x square minus 2y square. So we simplify for the both sides in here with y and x square minus 2y square. So if we simplify, we just got like this. Next, we divide both sides by number 2. Next, we divide both sides by x and mu x. So we have 3 over x and this one the mu x should be in here. Next, we put the interaction for the both sides. The interaction of this one, we have 3 ln of the absolute value of s. The interaction of this one, we have ln of the absolute value of mu s. So we put number 3 go inside about natural law in here. And that means mu s equal to s to the power of 3. So, in this situation, about this one, we change mu s into s to the power of 3. So we need to multiply this one go in here. So now we can check about this one. So I will put about p equals to this one and q equals to this one so we do dp over dy so we do first the derivative of y square so we have 2y and we have 6 with number 2 you got about 12 then we do first the derivative of y to the power of 4. We will have about negative 16. s to the power of 3. y to the power of 3. About dq over ds. If we do first the derivative of s to the power of 6, we have number 6 s to the power of 5. So we have 12 s to the power of 5 y. If we do s to the power of 4, we will have about 4s to the power of 3. And we see that this one equals to this one. So we can use about the exact. Now, I will set up about the function fsy equals to this interaction. I will choose about this one in here plus 3sy the interaction of 6s to the power of 5 you got s to the power of 6y square the interaction of 4s to the power of 3 you got s to the power of 4 y to the power of 4 plus 3sy next we do first the derivative of the function with respect to y for the both sides. That's about f s y. So we do first the derivative of y to the power of two. 
and we have to s to the power of 6 y minus number 4 s to the power of 4 y to the power of 3 plus d over d y g s y and we know that everything in here should be equals to this one and now we simplify for the both sides so you got about number zero in here now if we do this interaction for the both sides you got about c in here now we return back to this one so we change 3sy into c because this interaction you got 3sy and we change c in here and we know that everything in here should be equals to fsy fsy equal to c now if we simplify c and c you will got like this and this is the final answer this is the end thank you for watching